Hi, this is Ed Parks, and this is my wife Sharon, and together we have a construction company called Argonauta Designs. And we, in this past year, have built two houses with plans from the house designers. We've built the Bonaire as well as the Flats models. The Bonaire is what we're standing in right now, and it's a large uh, single floor ranch, um, approximately 2,300 square foot with the changes we've made. Uh, we just wanted to lead you through the selection process of why we chose this model. I, you know, I think when we're looking at a new house plan, we first look at what kind of lot we have and what direction it's facing. So we try to get southwest exposure because that gives you the best light. The house plan, the way it's oriented and where the windows are in the plan, make a big difference on how the actual finished product is going to turn out. So we look for plans that kind of have this versatility to them. One thing to keep in mind when you're looking at the plans on the website is if you're working with a uh, builder, you can change the plan. You're not locked in stone there. If you've got a plan that is hitting 80% of what you want and you can't find anything else, uh, take it and see if you could run with it. For instance, in this, in this plan here, we expanded uh, the great room open space area quite a bit. I think we added at least 12 foot in width to it. Uh, we took a, a ranch plan that was made to go on a slab and we put in a, a laundry room, full basement, and a stairway going down to it. So you're, you're not locked into things. You can change it, use it as a, a, uh, like a first draft on the plan. I think some of the favorite things in this plan was the high ceilings and the open concept. It kind of let us um, kind of go with some of the more modern design trends like the shiplap, large 10-foot islands, bigger windows, French doors, some 8-foot doors, and some nice um, barn door features into the plan as well. So I think it gave it a modern farmhouse look. One of the uh Major modifications we made to the plan was redoing the master suite area, um, changing the layout of the closet, incorporating a, uh, a freestanding tub, a double barn door that would enter from your bedroom into your uh, ensuite bathroom, and trying to make it a, as spa-like as possible and, and airy. You know, I, I don't think there's anything we would do differently in, in the actual layout of the house. I think the only thing is just maybe planning out a little more the finishes, but that's something as a builder you have to do just to, to make life easier on yourself at the end. And as a person that does the design, sometimes the finishes come a little later in the process because you have to be able to visualize how things are going to look and what products are going to look good in the finish. But, you know, as we all know, the finishes are really what make a house. Some of this stuff requires preparation. Even putting barn doors in, there needs to be supports from in the framing that will support that weight. So, you know, now we're on our 12th house, so we're a little bit better at, you know, anticipating that sort of thing. From a homeowner perspective, it's something to think about, you know, when you walk into a spec house or something that is mostly done, and you want to make some of these changes, you know, the ship has sailed on that, and, and you know, it was really made on minute one. We, in this house, have used a Clopay garage door. It's a brand we've come to know and trust. It has a lot of style options. Got an applied trim 
that goes over it really accentuates a, an old carriage style, but it really adds to the farmhouse look of the house. It's a sturdy, well-reinforced and insulated door. We chose a Thermatru front door. It's a brand that we've used for years. We trust it. It's a uh, fiberglass front door. Has great style options. On uh, this house, it was available in an eight foot height, which makes a grand entrance to it. Very happy with it. It's secure, sets off the uh, facade of the house very nicely. I guess that the best advice we can give you to build a new home is just be ready. It's going to be a ride. It's not a easy process. It has a lot of unknowns can happen from when they stick the first shovel in the ground. Uh, actually before that, when you're in the, the permitting stage, you could find out that you're in a conservation area and you know you can't build where you thought you can build. You can't take down the trees that you thought you could take down. So. Do your homework, make sure you can do what you think you can do before you start down that road. If a plan meets your needs for about 80% and you figure it's a good size for your family and the flow feels really good, try to think out of the box a little bit and, and see what you think you can do to make it better. I mean, sometimes you need that inspiration to kind of get yourself moving, whether it's you know, a color scheme, or whether it's a flow that you're looking for, or maybe you've seen a shape of an island that's different and very unique. It, it could really make your kitchen really something special. So, you know, think about incorporating some of those things into your plan and think of how different it could really be for you. One thing to keep in mind with faucets and China, when you're dealing with a larger company like Kohler or Growy, you can get support. There's so many different types of faucets that look good, they might be a tremendous price, but you could put it in and you know the finish is gonna start peeling, or you'll find out that it's not acceptable in the state you live in. Some states have their own requirements within plumbing. If you stick with a national branch, you'll be safe. 